Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Ben from Northern TCG. Hello. And Kurt from Locals. Hello. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's start with you, Kurt. You've had a bit going on. Yeah, um, I'll bring it back to last Sunday before today. Okay. Which was the OTS event yes. that we had. Mm-hmm. That we didn't talk about. Yeah, we didn't want to talk about it. Yeah, yeah that is true. They Painful. didn't want to. Um, well, I ended up coming second. I played Centurion. It only came out two days after. I did, well, we did discuss before. it. Because I said it was a big brain move that Kurt went out and picked up Centurion. And no one expected anyone to have Centurion yet. Mm. His big brain. I did that. Nobody expected. I think I versed this poor branded dude. Game one. Ah, uh, the guy who showed up. Yeah, I felt really bad because I just did the combo. Couldn't play the game. Yeah. I'm like, and then he didn't come in today. I'm like, oh no. I don't know if that guy's local to us. I don't. I know, think he just come in for the OTS. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know where he came from. I don't from, know. But I felt bad. But then I versed Andrew. Andrew, long grindy game with birds. Leo, I then versed. Finally beat him. It's taken a while for me to beat him, but me bringing in Centurion kind of just made everyone surprised. So it's the same thing as Josh being like, "Ha ha! If no one knows what I'm playing, then it's fine." I mean, you can generally work it out with Josh. It's just the hand trap lineup's going to change in whatever cybers nonsense he's playing. This yeah. is true. This is true. I then lost to Josh in the final because he just opened hand up traps? nuts. Yes, mm-hmm. that's what yeah. happens. Yeah. Opened up two it's DD crazy in game two. I'm like. Cool. That kind of ends my turn. Uh, then on Tuesday, I ended up winning locals against Cyber Dragons in finals. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> game, game three against Ethan, I bricked real bad. <laughs> I'm like, I was, I, I thought he was playing something new. I'm like, he's gone up here. Surprise! Like, I for me so, with my deck, I'm like, I'm guessing because nobody knows how to play it. Yeah. Cyber Dragons, on the other hand, I was not ready for because. Game one against him, I was like, fuck, I've got to dance around and not leave machines on the board. And like, I, I was like, yeah, okay, cool. Get rid- Anything that was called Cyber Dragon, I was like, get rid of that shit. Game two, I, just, I was like, well, this isn't good. And he just wins. And then game three, I was like, this is unplayable. And he just wins. <laughs> I was struggling against him because his first interaction was that field spell. Yeah, continuous spell. The continuous that line. makes everything, everything machines. Machine. Yeah. So then I'm like, okay, he's made everything machines. I do the King Calamity lock, stop him for the turn, but he just goes, take up everything. Can you King Calamity lock if you activate that card? Yes, because you target a level 12 and then return the Crimson. I thought you had to target... And then summon a dragon. I thought you had to target a dragon, specifically. No, I read that. It's the, okay. it's the level I read that. about, and then in the extra, it just needs to be a dragon. Okay, yeah. I, I thought it had to target a no, dragon. No, I read that before I did it all. Okay, like, okay this is legal. That's okay. But, um, yeah, he just kept on grabbing up all my monsters. I, so I had to rebuild my board every turn. I'm like, yeah, this works. Clockwork Knight is a fucking bonkers card. It's a bonkers card. But it also adds it... an earth machine if it goes to grave. Yeah. yeah. Like, to which I learned he wasn't playing one. No, he did, well, Cyber Dragon. But he needs a Therian Regulus. Uh, Speaking of uh, Therian Regulus, uh, I have spares because our one came. Our one? You asked me to get your place. Oh, out? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. completely forgot. <laughs> those, those arrived, so we now have Regulus. Yay! I have a negate. <laughs> <laughs> so I now have a spare. I'll hit Ethan up. Um, Ethan, I have I a Regulus for you. I completely forgot that was a thing that we did. <laughs> Yeah, it was like two weeks ago. Jake was like, "I still need." I was re- ordering one, and I was like, "Jake, can you give me a playset?" I was done. I ordered you a playset. I still need <laughs> the fucking um, revolution synchrons. Those are so expensive, man. And they're just nowhere. I've not seen one for sale for so long. I mean, I've seen them on the Facebook pages. They're all I like, I haven't even seen them there. But they've been getting surprisingly cheap. It's not cheap enough. Anyway, uh, back to your week. Yeah, so got today. first on Tuesday, yeah. then today. Today, I versus Ben game one. Uh, you bricked so fucking hard. <laughs> well, you went first, so you opened up the nuts. I opened up no hand traps, so you just did your whole combo. I got really confused by that, because then on the following turn, you had Nib and Ash, and I Nib was like... Nib and Ash, yes. Because I drew the Nib on the like, uh, Asia. Yeah, one was the draw for turn, and then one yeah. was... The, okay. I drew two hand traps I didn't, after the turn. I didn't realise you were drawn twice. <laughs> but um, I was like... Why is he hand trapping me now? <laughs> <laughs> Game two, bricked. 
massively. Yeah. <laughs> I had nothing. Yeah. So then you won that. Went to Jake. King Calamity did him game one. He got real mad. <laughs> <laughs> then game two he realised that it does nothing to his deck. Yeah, Unchained is surprisingly unfazed by uh, stopping their effects on field. Let me just set my traps and pop. Well, game two was um, I went first and I had the cross out for yeah, the mid yeah, so yeah. I could play. <laughs> he, he, he potted prosperity in six, grabbed the the cross out, and I'm like, hopefully he doesn't play nib for this. Oh, what does he play? Because <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I had nib and imperm, I was like, okay, yep. I'll nib imperm him, and I should just clear the board. No. I'm like. Uh oh. No, no, no. You don't work anymore. No. Impermed. And then Nibby crossed down. Like, okay, cool. Game three, he impermed my Prime Mirror. And I was stuck. The normal summon. And that was it. <laughs> you didn't have the extenders. No. Damn. So, he was. Yeah. Then I won against Cash Tira round three. Yeah. I mean, I'll talk about that in a second. Ben! Um, my week was fine Like we discussed already uh, I went X1 At locals So I lost Ethan <laughs> I did the The classic thing lately Of just like Hard bricking When I need to not hard brick You did that like Sunday and Tuesday Right? Yeah I did it I, I've, Lately it's been Every single time I'm like Okay this is a situation Where I just need to Be able to play mm-hmm. That way we can make things A nice contest I, on Tuesday night, I legitimately drew the same exact five cards that I drew against Luke in game three <laughs> on Sunday. Of, like, Rescue Ace Trap, Rescue Ace Trap, Field Spell, two other garbage cards. I was like... What? What do you do? I lose. <laughs> <laughs> um, today was fine. Um, I went X1 again. Lost to Leo in time. Intentionally uh, didn't scoop... No, uh, intentionally... Didn't take the draw. Yeah. Uh, so that we had a third round and Jake had to actually play to win. Because <laughs> um, Jake was like, no, no, it's a draw. And I was like, I wasn't saying no, it was a draw. I, I can just see you missed an effect. It's fine. Um, yeah, I got burned for time. But it's okay. Uh, well, the deck's fine. Um, I think the only thing in retrospect today, I probably should have banished more off desires to try and get to a Shatos in game three. I didn't realise how little time was left Otherwise I would have just gone Yeah, like Prosp into a Shatos Go Instead I just Prosp for three Took a draw And then passed Not realising Not realising I wasn't going to get another turn <laughs> So Brandon Regain is a really sleeper hit I reckon We'll be chatting about that very soon Guess what? It's fine You just pop it with your turbulence <laughs> We'll talk yeah, about that I'm, I'm Just saying Like Yeah um, And that was That was my week Pretty standard I did build the chest. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Space. 2017 now. 2017 YCS in a box. <laughs> um, so my week. Um, Tuesday, I don't remember a great deal about Tuesday. I'm pretty sure the guy from Canberra was in on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, he was playing Rescue Ace. And I opened the like almost perfect hands against him, like to a point of absurdity. Like, he went for, like, he was playing the Cybersy version um, of the thing where you set up, like, the spell and trap negate you with the link five and all that nonsense. Yep. Um, I had the Nibiru for that, so that didn't matter. Um, won that game. And then game two, he sets up the SP. Like, playing somewhat conservatively, he didn't go for, like, the bonkers shit. He just went, for, like, SP, go to summon turb. I was like, Activate him, uh, not Imperm, um, mm-hmm. Nibiru. Yep. Chain the SP. Then I chain the Imperm. Um, Some of the token in attack mode, because I remembered, yeah, crashed yeah. into the token, <laughs> evenly matched, got rid of the two back row, uh, yeah. and then normal summon tool guard for full combo. <laughs> <laughs> I was very happy that's, about that. That's not pretty good. It was pretty good. Um, I, d- I wasn't in the finals with you, so I must have lost early ish. You I lost round one. Yeah, what did I lose to again? PK Horace. Yeah, because yeah, my yeah, because my pros banish was like <laughs> terrible. Jake so, was too busy talking. <laughs> so I go to banish with pros, and I'm like in the midst of picking targets, and my opponent like just throws Ash out there before I've like dictated mm. how many I'm banishing. So I've had to be like, 
Okay, so I haven't picked my targets yet. You need to wait for that. Um, anyway, I'm chaining Ash Blossom. So I just like picked three things out of the extra deck so I could move on. Yeah. And one of them was the Link 3, which I needed to fully break the board. Without the Link 3, I could only get partially there. And then everything was just sort of stuck in this so weird, shitty state. He was big brain. Yeah, you got big brain. Sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> Good Jake, big brain. You. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how that works. Um, yeah, and look, I think that was like one of the first legitimate wins he's had. So if he has it, he has it. It's fine. Uh, and then today, uh, yeah, first... Who did I verse first? I versed uh, Kashira first. Uh, they bricked real bad. Um, versed you second. Um, turns out, as much as I hate Calamity still... I don't currently have a problem with it because my deck doesn't care. Uh, and then in the finals against Leo, um, just standard dragon tings of like banishing my best link ever when it's in the grave, sending my monster rather than destroying it with the thing that he banished my link with, and just general recycling of everything. Um, and my hand in game three was actually horrendous. Like, double a Ruha and run Rakea and a uh, Nibiru. Like, effectively three normal summons and a hand trap. It's not ideal. Yeah. Like, the only saving grace I had is that, like, he set up um, the uh, seals. Seals? Yep. And the IP. Yep. And I had the Nibiru on board. So I was like, okay, uh, threaten battle phase, attack into the um, seals. He bounced it back to my hand. So I was like, okay, cool. I have a hand trap for next turn. Don't know what I'm going to do this turn, but we'll work that out as we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry, I'm just, don't worry. My brain just went off with a tangent. As it's it does. Fine. Um, yeah, and that was the finals. And then I pulled another one of Per Lily. So I have that to now get rid of. That's your second? Did you get rid of the first? Yes, I did. Okay. I offered it to you. You said you didn't want to pay for it. So yeah. I sold it to someone else. Smart decision. Smart decision. Same offers there this time around. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I don't want to invest into that thing. Oh, and then briefly, uh, before we get into the big news of Master Duel, uh, in Master Duel, I was playing a lot of the Ritual event because uh, the, the Nouvelle deck was just kind of fun. Um, the Vendred deck was bad. You kind of need more stuff going on in Vedred. Like, you can do some synchro shenanigans with Herald and all that kind of shit. So without yep. it, it's just bad. Um, and then in the main ladder, I was just playing sort of like a cash punk pile. Yep. But I kept, like, not doing a lot. That resets tonight, doesn't it? Uh, no. It's no, it's not till tomorrow. the end of the month. No, no, it resets within a day. I know that. Really? Well, the battle pass resets. Oh, the battle pass. <gasps> oh my god, new mate soon. Because I like logged on to play this morning and was it was like resets in one day, and I was like, ah. I'm not touching this anymore. Then bye. <laughs> that explains why there's an update tomorrow. Yes. Okay, so the battle pass resets. Apparently, there's cool, a new cool, secret. Cool, 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 cool. I mean, there will be. There generally is. Rescue race cards. No, Dynamorphia. Dynamorphia. Kurt just leaked on the podcast. What? Dynamorphia. I, I saw that there's a new Dynamorphia card coming. But there isn't more Dynamorphia cards. There's a trap. No, one trap. <laughs> Who cares? That's it's all I saw. Solemn Judgment. <laughs> <laughs> um, Where's what else notes? was I going to say? That's alright, we'll move on to Master Duel News anyway. So, uh, the Ritual event has concluded. I uh, hope you got all your gems. Uh, that's all I did. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what it's there for. But the notes are there. Oh god. Okay. Um, so they have released some new stuff into Master Duel. Um, so we have now wait, 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 available. Wait, wait. What? This is not the biggest news of the week, Jake. It's not. It's not. So we can cover. Can we cover that news first? Which is? YCS Sydney got announced two yes. hours ago. Very true. Yes, we now have dates for YCS uh, and a location, Sydney. Um, the usual. Yeah. So there was. I don't know why I'm saying this sarcastically. I'm really <laughs> happy about this. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm not sure why they've had to delay it. Um, uh, there, like, uh, there was. I'm sure someone told me what was on, but I cannot remember. Because Juicy Fest is on, Jake. Oh, it's Juicy Fest. Yeah, and you told me this, yeah. And I remember not caring now. Yeah. Um, but now it's in March, uh, March 8th to 11th, I think, including registration. Yeah, yeah. So it's around those, those dates. That, that weekend. Yeah. That weekend. So, book your hotels. Because... You're already too late. <laughs> it's been a, the, like, it got announced two hours ago for us. Maybe three hours ago? Four hours ago? I don't know. It got, it got announced earlier. Yeah. Uh, 
the hotel that we've booked has already gone up three hundred dollars. Yeah. So <laughs> insanely. Uh, good luck. Um, <laughs> if you haven't already booked, it's been another day. So yeah, um, I'm sure the budget Ibis probably still has tons of spots. Just they've changed their policy now, so you have to pay now. I am paying eight hundred dollars to pay for the budget Ibis now, but I can spend the same amount and get a nicer hotel and pay them today. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, in theory, it's nicer. It's nicer. At the very least, it has a nicer name. It's closer. <laughs> it's closer? Yeah, it's the one that's directly in front of the entrance. So it's above Subway and everything. Oh, um, does that mean our room's going to smell like Subway bread? No, nah, because the hotel's on this side of the subways, yeah. If anything, it'll smell like the the noodle place. Oh! <laughs> Change I'm so fucking down. Yeah. If I smell Subway all night, I'm going to be a happy boy. <laughs> I've, I've also just realised that Jake turned on the lights and the lights aren't the normal setting, so if we look really white today, it's Jake's fault. Wow. Jake woke up this morning and was like, Oh, yes. I want to be in the Da Vinci Code. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, um... So yeah, looking forward to that. So, um, yeah. Will be nice to see you all there. Um, so circling back to Marcel, we now have some to extra meme, assets. Uh, so it was featured in a few of the solo modes, like um, the Rika one. But we now have the Glacial World Field available for purchase. It's like a snowy kind of thing. Looks nice. Nothing special, but it looks nice. Um, be real. Because you have to change your field every time you set your deck, or you do pick a new deck. I always just play on the basic field. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just can't be bothered. There's to so many nice it. fields as well, and it's not like you have to pay for all of them either. I already have all the nice fields that I like. I just don't use them. See, and if once Rescue Ace comes in, you'll want like the magma one with all of the fire going on. Uh, they need to, if they release like Fire City one, then I'm in. Actually, the um. Mutant one would look alright with Rescue Ace, I yeah. feel. Because then when you're dying, yeah. the lights will go off and you'll be like, Activate emergency! <laughs> um, <bro>. We <laughs> get <laughs> the Gen X Furnace uh, little thing surrounds. Doesn't really do anything for anybody. Because we're getting Gen X support. No. But I'll get into that in a second. Um, so following on from their attribute line, we now have the water icon and the water deck box. Um, what we are getting for Gen X is the second iteration of the Terminal World Law, uh, which talks about how the Gen X were these weird machiny things that existed in the world uh, and started fighting against the worms, worm with an O, not worm with a W. Yes. Um, and then uh, in the true y. tradition of um, people who see other people doing Can't things, really funny. Um, they decided to exploit these machines. Okay. Um, so, the best thing about this is that you get a uh, Gen X controller as your mate. Surprising. Not surprising. I'll take Gen X controller as I mean, you'd have to do the solo mode to get him. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need it. Don't need it. Uh, also happening in Master Duel, we have an upcoming ban list. Uh, so this one's coming into effect on December 5th. Um, oh, that explains why I still had cards when I logged in today. <laughs> Uh, so, limited, we have uh, Mathmech Diameter yep. and Runic Fountain. Yep. Poor Fountain. Yeah. Was Diameter the choice to limit? Yep, yeah, it's fine. Well. Yes. Yeah. No. No. Yes. No. no. It's the one that gives it a gate, yeah. It's, yeah the, you like... want, it's the one that it gets protected once. Oh, so it's not the gate one. I thought it's the one that gives it no, a no. gate. No, Diameter is the light one. I Make think if, it, if it's used cards. for an Xyz or a Synchro Summon, it gives it protection or something? No. Um, it's if it's yeah, If it's used for a Synchro or an Xyz, once yeah. we turn during the card time, this card was special summoned, uh, opponent activates a card, and you get the effect. This being one's great. Because now if you crow it or you biz deal it, they lose. Game's over. Yeah. Um, limited. There's a few, because the OCD and level limit. No, semi limit, sorry. Yep. Semi limit, they love a semi limit. Uh, so we have Labyrinth, Stovey Torby. Yep. Uh, hit, hit. Pearly. Yep. Tempest Dragon, Ruler of Storms. Yep. Chaos Space, Silent Mining, Pot of Desires, Delicious Memory, and Quick Launch. Yeah. I'm happy with all that. When I logged in today, I was like, this is a lot of semi Pearly cards getting semi limited. Uh, good. I won't be able to play my deck. 
And then I like went into ranked and was like, oh, my deck's still here. Well, oh well, summon towers pass. Yeah. Um, no longer on the list. We have Lyrilus Cobalt Sparrow. Didn't even know that was on the list. Which one's Cobalt? The reborn one, I think. And Zodiac Dryden. Yeah, Zodiac. What's? Do they have Barrage there? Don't think so. Okay, then it doesn't matter. No. You're not getting it without using a normal summon? Doesn't matter. Yeah, oh, uh, I mean, you could in theory go for it in um, Tribrigade, but also no one's playing Tribrigade. No. No. Um, yeah, so that's where we are at with Master Duel, but since we're speaking about ban lists, um, we are getting, in theory, close to when we're due for a ban list. Um, this one's not coming in just before our YCS, thankfully. It's so. okay, Jake. The next one will come in straight after our YCS. Yeah, that's fine. But after the YCS is fine, because we will have had our fun with the decks and then they it, go away forever. It always makes our YCS feel worse, because it doesn't establish a format. It's the end of the format. Mm. People care less about it. It doesn't matter because it's not going to be streamed. I know. No one knows about our YCS because they don't get to see it. Um, Rye Guy knows about our YCS. Don't you, Rye Guy? Yeah. I just chose one viewer at random. I'm surprised. You should be a special Rye Guy. Anyway, um, so, who has some thoughts on the ban list? Oh, are we asking for my... Is this yeah, your yeah, ask yeah, for Ben's yeah, ban list yeah, first? Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He turns to me. Do I already have, have my fucking list, you... I know, because I made you do it. Okay. No stealing Ben. Off Ben. Okay, banned. Banned. Hot Red? Obviously. Nah, what are you talking about? Everyone's going to say that. (laughs) It's King Calamity. Let's get rid of that. Nah, Ben's Skylight. He doesn't want to get burned for time again. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Both the Millers. Although, I don't think it's super necessary. But... It's really not. Tears come back. It's like, it's... it's, mm, uh, and my third band card, Aqua Dolphin. Yeah. These feel very personal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. It's that hits consistency of Infernoble without taking away its consistency, and it also helps you to be able to actually fight back against that deck. Like getting I mean, Aqua Dolphin wrong. is it's just brutal. Yeah. Like they sit there. They do it twice. They normal connector. You have to ash them, and then they just play literally any other fire extender, and off to the races they go. They're and also mostly they're playing triple tax, so they'll yeah. also just rip another card out of your hand anyway. Yeah, yeah. it's not it's not good for the game. Um, yeah, the fact that they just never banned a soul day after all these years. A soul day really is but, like one of the only broken link twos that's still left. Because if you ban it, you kill so much. <laughs> good. It has so much collateral damage. Whereas getting rid of Aqua Dolphin just takes away three normal summons for that deck. You just replace them with. Anything. Battle box and stuff. No, junk they, connector. No, they play that or junk fucking forward. garbage. Um, what is it? It's like a hummingbird one, and it gives them life points, and they can win in time. <laughs> it does the yes. same thing, but it doesn't interrupt your hand. Yes. Um, limiteds. Limited. Although some of these can be semi-limited or limited, mm. I don't think it, it tremendously matters where they are. The TCG admittedly don't like a semi-limit. That's why I think they're going to be limited. But again, these some of these cards can be semi. Well, we um, did get a bunch of semi-limits. The band was before our last one. True. Like, we got Fountain, Unicorn. True. So, these, all bar one, could be semi-limited. Um, so, for limited, uh, we have Airlifter, Aruha, Sleepy Memory, uh, Runic Tip, and Wakashi. For Super, Super Heavy Samurai Wakashi. Ah. And we, then... Do we still care about that? It's a it's one card It's barrel. popping up in a lot of decks. It's like, Bike is eh. a one card Baron, so yeah. putting it to one doesn't destroy that, but it just destroys yeah. that, like going into a level 8 synchro. Yes. Um, and then my last, my one card coming off, because we've already received the red dragon ruler coming off. Yeah. So, uh, Kieran is my card coming off the band list, which is should be an obvious on the It's, barrel, yeah, yeah, fairly well telegraphed. Yeah. Um, and then, so. Five of those six cards could probably go to two or one, just kind of somewhere. So I don't, haven't gone with a semi-limit list. Yep. Um, and then for my unlimits, uh, Ancient Fairy Dragon and Potter's Device. Oh, he thinks Desire's come back to three. Yep. 
It's going low in Master Duel, but in the TCG, it's free. It um, shouldn't be at two. It Even though two is the ratio, two is the correct feels ratio. Comfortable yeah. to play. One of the disparities at three desires to serve to like, be at three. Playing it at three is mathematically wrong. Yes, but it feels uncomfortable to play it at three. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, on my uh, thoughts. So, for band, I also have King Calamity. Yep. Uh, turn skip cards just shouldn't exist. Yep. Um, Branded Regained. I also have band. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's like a resource loop that dragons like are enjoying a lot. Like it basically means that your Magnumut at one means nothing because you're summoning it back every turn. Yep. And then like you're banishing resources, which is supposed to be like an area where you don't access them anymore. Yep. But it just puts them back into the deck and then you draw a card. Like it's yeah. and the fact that you don't like it's not searched as such, you just like plop it on the field. It's stupid. And by getting rid of that, I think it opens dragons up to do more interesting things. Like, they could play Etude of the Branded, which lets them do off-turn synchro stuff, and is a floodgate, admittedly, when you have Abyssal on the board. So, not ideal in that scenario. But it just gives Jason them... Jason get dissipated with that, and be like, I liked it better when they had Regained. <laughs> <laughs> no, Regained's a, Regained is a legitimately fucked card. Like, it, it has fine. to go. At some point. Next. And limiting it does nothing. Uh, for limits, um, oh. I've put a couple of slashes in these because it be, could be limiting limits. either of these cards. Which oh, yeah. I, I get where you're going, so. Uh, so, for limited, I would either limit emergency or airlifter. Yeah, it's one or the other. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Um, I would either limit Shavara or Tour Guide. I don't want to see Tour Guide get limited. No. That's, no. that's why I went for Aruha. Are you sad for all the BA players? It's just a card that's very useful in a lot of decks. It's the same reason why hitting fucking Soul Day. It just hurts so many things. Also, we had Tour Guide Limited for so long, mm. and it finally back at three. Let's not put it back to one. I mean, it's because it's so good generically, it, it is, is one of those cards place. that I feel like once more stuff comes out, it will just be a problem yeah, it's okay like i feel like if they decide to start doing more un like not unchanged shit but more fiend, fiend stuff it will just be a continual issue next year's the year of wind so we don't have to worry about that <laughs> until they bring out the wind unchained <laughs> the fourth twin <laughs> <laughs> um i also have prosperity going to one yeah it's gotten its cheap reprint that wouldn't surprise yeah. me if they now just go yeah, and like it's one of those generic cards that pretty much crops up in most lists that aren't Runic or Sky Striker. So I feel like they'll want to get rid of it at some point. The most interesting thing part about that, well, about that is the decks we're about to receive don't play Prosperity. It's the best time to hit. Yeah, but like, are we going to hit it going into a format where it's not? We'll see a less play. Like the decks that play it at the moment will continue to play it. Yeah. I'm not saying that that's not going to be a thing, but. In theory, then, that's more of a reason for them to hit it, because it drives people onto new decks. Yeah, I guess. And they, you can probably still play it in decks like Fire Kings. Two weeks away, probably. Oh, God. Um, I also had Kings. Looking forward to You're like, oh, God, we don't, like, the cards that make Fire Kings good aren't even out. Aren't going to be out yet. Yeah, good. I don't want them. Why do you want Fire Kings? Because I don't want to have to think about new shit. It's blowing shit up, Jake, but you like that. I like it when I do it. <laughs> I like it when I do it, not when they do it. Can... Yeah, surely your your guys trigger in hand. Can you like not just put Fire they, King they, Island? They don't trigger in hand. They if you only destroy trigger, them from hand? Correct, they only trigger ah, when they destroy on field. Yeah, it's not great. That sucks. Um, I also had Kieran coming back to one. Yep. Again, Makes very sense. heavily telegraphed. I don't know, because... Yeah, I think timing-wise I'll have to do it now because I think Phantom Nightmare would come out before they'd want to do another list. Yeah. Um, I have Runic Fountain going to one. Again, Yeah. it's just... It's it's had a, its life cycle. A Runic card needs a hit. Yeah. I feel like that's it. Or it's tip, one of the two. Fountain yeah. one or tip to one. Yeah, one of the two. Um, and then I don't see this happening, but it'd be really nice. Harp to Harp. One. Just let me have it. <laughs> Please! Yeah. Kieran or Harp, and one of these two is getting support. But it's not doing anything. 
Well, like, the thing is, there's is no that point keeping cards on the list if their addition or subtraction from the list mm. makes no difference. What well, a good thing is is that the new horror stuff has seen a little bit of play with the Orcus. I mean, if I could be bothered building it, I would absolutely build Hawkus. So that might give him an edge to make it as one. I mean, but it's not selling anything because they've already got people hooked onto Horus with other shit. Yeah. Like again, reiterated, I don't see this happening. I just want it to happen. I just need Orcus I want support. my boy back. Is there room to fit a PK package into Hawkus? Yeah, the, the dude I was bursting on Tuesday was playing PK or uh, PK Horus. Yeah, but he wasn't so playing PK Hawkus. Hawkus. Mm, I mean, you could. You'd need to be yeah, a very small one. Yeah, you'd need to like. Opened quite well. Okay. Ben is intrigued. No, no, I just wanted to say hawkist more. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. It's yeah. a fun word. To just say. wanted to keep that Hawkist. conversation going. Uh, semi limit. I have one semi limit. Oh. And that's evenly matched. I'm putting it in the same category as Lightning Storm. That's the generic card that everyone's playing that kind of blows yep. the game state away. Yeah. So I feel like semi limiting it. And if they do go through the thing of hitting prosperity as well makes it a little bit less consistent to get to. There's just been a lot of times throughout the it's history of the year where it's better. Like, mm-hmm. it's, there's, it's one of those cards that has been better in the past. And there's been reasons to hit it in the past, and this haven't, so... Eh. Again, and it's in that period where it literally just got a reprint in every rarity. So, if there was a time for them to justifiably limit it... Also, Yu-Gi-Oh! boards are stronger than ever, and... We need cards for going second. Even though no one's playing, or not many people are playing evenly right now. I know because they don't really get evenly anymore. It's because we haven't burst in like three weeks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's true. Uh, and then off the list, I have Ancient Fairy Dragon. Makes sense. Makes sense. Does the same at one as it does at three. <laughs> you might as well have it off. Kurt! Oh, your list is fucking huge. <laughs> <laughs> I told him to do an essay. Shit. No, nah, I've got a couple of cards that I think I won't say. But, uh, so, for Banned, Calamity. As much as I love playing the card, because it's just fun. For some people. It's just more interesting things you can do. Turn skipping your opponent is always fun. Exactly. Because you don't have to think. <laughs> <laughs> Jake also got very angry. So. Like, again, we, we go back to it. When I used to be able to just, like... Do sword soul combos, get disrupted, and just go Protoss. Protoss. <laughs> cold dark, cold dark, cold dark, cold dark, cold dark. It was great. I wasn't there for that, so I would have loved it. It's a good time. Uh, King Calamity. Uh, I have Strike a Dragon because that card's been here for too long. Yeah. Like, boot, Strike a Dragon going into Boot Sector, into Tracer, into. It's just an additional Savage. I don't see Dragon Link really caring much after that. Just realised that in Infernal Wade I can play a Shartos and call Fiend and lock Jake out. <laughs> you can do that, but you'd need to be very confident that what you have on the board would stay. Yeah, it's fine. I just summon back the Infernal that are in my grave. Um, I have a Rika hit uh, with Jasmine. Yeah. Like a Romosphery Jasmine? The Yeah, the Link. Did he make? Oh, damn. I feel like... It's coming after all of the UK. Yeah. Yeah. What the British ever did to you? Uh, I did have Shifter in banned, but I reckon just put it limited. Yep. Merle to get banned. <gasps> He's coming after the Fusey women. Yeah. I'm sad <laughs> about it, but if Merle gets banned, I'm hoping another card could come back. No! You're not getting back Jet. No. Not Jet. He wants Kikalos. Not kick colours. Oh, you have whatever the fuck you want then. <laughs> <laughs> so, those are my bands. Um, limited... Tell us in a second. I want Sprite Elf back. I said no elf. You said Jet. Oh, they're the fucking same to me, Kurt. <laughs> I want Elf I have, back. I have famously confused those a lot. I'll take Elf back. Elf is... Uh, elf to one. Yeah. You get rid of it, you can't get it back. Yes. Really. Like, unless you shuffle it back But in sprite decks, you can't. Emergency to one, but same, air lifter emergency. I have Shavara to one, 
the red dog. Yep. Uh, welcome Labyrinth to one. Yep. Yeah. The Vanquish Soul Rock to one. The Link? Yeah. Dang. But it's getting an ulti print, Kurt. That is true. So that probably won't happen, but... Skill Drain Tigaboo one. Oh, yeah, Skill Drain's a little thing. Yeah, I just don't feel they're going to... They're not going to do you, it. You could just limit it's a wish and that would also take care yeah, of Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Vaker Soul. Yeah, I don't want... Uh, bring Back Harp. I haven't looked into the Kieran stuff, so I didn't really give a... So this is why we're just trying to get list. you to play 2017 so I'm you can understand sorry? the problems that card caused. Yeah, Kieran's in Pendulum here. Yeah. Semi-limit, I don't have anything... Unlimited, I have Orange Light and Red Rose Dragon. Okay. Like... I thought Orange Light went to three in the last list. Did it not? Two. Oh, yeah. Then, of course, I'm going to three. Wait, yeah. Red Rose Dragon. Red Rose. Rose. It's the Runny, Tuna. Ruddy Rose. Of oh, Red. It's the Tuna Dragon that you... Yeah, it got limited to one. Ages ago. Because oh. it had a combo with Sword Soul where you just set up Baron before five. Uh, mm. It also it, that day that card got played in so many things. Mm. I do remember it like coming in. I just didn't remember why it fell off, and now I know why. Uh, <laughs> it fell off a because it got limited, and b because you would summon it off Hulk at one point. I think. Oh, how you summoned it off Hulk? You summoned it off Hulk and then went into your guard dragon combos. Yeah. Okay. It was nuts because when it went to grave, it summons the other. I think it added the quick play it spell. It added the other. spell that would summon the other. Yes. So you'd Halk summon that, that make LP. Uh, then you'd use the spell, summon the other one, make Pisty LP effect. Off the race as you go. But yeah. Halk being banned, just bring back every tuner off the list. Uh, maybe not every tuner. <laughs> bring out, give us glow up bulb. We'll... Not, not go for you. Gofu can't come back. Gofu's back, Jake. It's been back for ages. No, it isn't. Oh, wait, no, it's the other one. <laughs> I was going to say, Gofu is not back. And you could probably bring back both the dragons. Uh, the the water one and the... Ah, oh, the dragon rules. Yeah, yeah, dragon rules. They suck. They'll eventually come back. They only, like, look for reasons to bring them back every seas. so often. It's the like... year of fire. When we get the year of water, you get water, back title. Get the, the... Uh, Mermel support when... Um... So yeah. What do you mean, Jake? Genix controller got support. <laughs> That's not no though. Yeah. They haven't used Genix since um, Deep Sea Deep with um Neptibis. Yeah. That's true. Neptibis is so good. That's my business. Anyway. Um, so, um, feel free to uh, comment your uh, thoughts on the ban list in our Discord. Uh, link will be in the description below. Uh, moving on to some more news, uh, we have the artwork having been announced for one of the Sky Striker cards uh, before we only had the effect. Uh, so this is the new Link 2. It's basically just Rose and Ray holding up a big ass sword. Ooh. That's pretty much it. Thank the God this shit's done. Okay. Yeah, I know. Like, like, it just depends on how hard they want to go into like the finale of Sky Striker, whether they just bring every Sky Striker card back to three for a format just to like sell shit. Let's keep Mystic Mind banned. <laughs> uh, honestly, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't, don't want to see that card ever again. Um, so, in the OCG, the uh, Terminal World uh, box has come out. Um, we got the last alternate art having been announced earlier this week, and that is Ulti Canahawk. So, when I first glanced at it, I was like, that looks like First of the Dragons. <laughs> Yay! There's similarities. But he is a regal boy with a crown, um, and... Of course, they've zoomed in because there is a girl in the artwork. Uh, no whistles. Yeah, Sorry. no wolf whistling at random ritual women. It wasn't a wolf whistle, but it was... It was close. Something. What's this card, Jake? This is for the new White Aura support that's also coming out in the same set as mm. the Sky Striker stuff. Um, so this is target a fish you control, destroy that fish, and if you do, add a monster with the same name from your deck to your hand. Or if you controlled a fish synchro when you activate this card, you can special it instead. What does that do? Um, the white or a new support, um, like if you have something of the same on field or in graveyard, they summon themselves yeah. and do all the things and they change themselves to tuners. There's and no blah, like blah, 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 fucking blah. fish at Lanyard card that's going to pop off from this. No. no. But apparently there is a way to get um, that big fish colocanth yeah. out with some goatee stuff. 
and then you can do some fish shenanigans. Um, then it has a grave effect. Uh, Banish it from grave, target two fish in the grave with the same name, place one of them on the bottom, and then special summon the other. That's um, not too bad. Yeah, it's alright. And then they get a trap that is bad, and I don't want to read it. Um, we also, I don't know if I opened the link for it, but we also got... A trap could be bonkers. Um, don't we don't read trap cards here. Yeah. Unless they have two effects. Unless One has to be a grave effect. <laughs> yeah, true. One of them has to read, you can banish this card from the graveyard. Yes. Those are the only trap cards we read on this podcast. <laughs> um, we got a really weird card um, that has like niche applications, but it's all kind of just okay. Uh, Ebon's Sun. The artwork's really cool, though. I like the artwork. Oh, it's that like got one. pyramids yeah. with an eclipse and everything's gone dark and blah, 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 blah. Uh, so if a face-up monster control is destroyed by battle card effect, gain life points equal to their total mods, uh, total attacks. Uh, if a monster is special summoned face-up from your graveyard, target one of them, it gains a thousand attack. And if a spell or trap is sent from your hand to the graveyard, target one of them, add it to your hand. Is that, are they once per turn? Uh, once per turn on each of the effects. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, like, bring back all four horses, get an attack for every single... No, it's not quite that good. <laughs> um, there was... I couldn't find the link for it, apparently, but there was also the... Um, you remember the toy soldier? Yes. Mm. Yeah, there was support announced for that. It's really bad. It's yes. very bad. Yeah. Does, like, at absolute best, it's a rank 4 engine, but it's a really bad rank 4 engine. <laughs> absolute worst, it's box of friends support ah there it is i found it um yeah so they all set themselves up okay. as spell and traps and then the continuous spell lets you pop them and they do some shit um emphasis on shit because they really don't do enough. it's not great no nah. at all no um but that does bring us on to our discord as i mentioned before the link will be in the description below feel free to jump in say hi and ask us questions uh so our first question this week comes to us from uh oracle uh, so what do you think is the most degraded archetype that was once a meta contender? Ooh. I've been experiencing this a lot lately. When I've been... So, for context, I've just been watching old YCSs. Um, like... A fire and ice hand? Like, yeah, dominated... Hat. Well, trap tricks are still kind of a thing, which is why I didn't want to preface hat as a whole. But yeah, artifacts but have like been the mooted. three of them needed to go in. Yeah. But, okay. like, simply the fact that, like, Fire and Ice Hand used to be, like, a staple in everything. And now they are completely unplayable. I saw Lightning Hand and was like, oh, there's another one? Oh, it's, it's, it's bad. Yeah, it's not great. Back then it would have been insane. Yes. But it didn't exist back then. It got printed three years ago. There was another hand card, but it was also kind of bad. The prize card. Giant hand. No, 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 not that one. Not that one, not that one, not that one. <laughs> I can't remember what it was called, but it was bad. It's, well, it's, um, it's a giant hand. Uh, I think Zoo as well, like when you get murdered, it kind of happens. Um, did have a brief resurgence when um, Barrage and Dryden came back at the same time. I think maybe we need to preface the fact that like, that has a lot of cards on the ban list. And if they were all at three, you would play that deck in a heartbeat. Yeah, because it's but kind of generic. The hat cards are just there. Do whatever you want. Um... Okay. I'd say it's, I don't know I haven't been here long but I'd say Sky Striker True, yeah. like it's not doing Again, much at the moment and like, it's got everything back a lot of those cards are back at 3 and it's, yeah. it's, it's not been touched not their biggest one yeah um, I don't want to ever see that back on the list again which one? Oh, what? Mystic Man <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, yeah but like the deck is too slow yeah, anything. that's what I'm saying. It's like, and there's way more spell and trap removal and like mass outage than there was at that time. Yeah, so mm. you can just get rid of so much shit. Yeah, it's it's nasty for them. It's like I, I think I came in like just at the end of that. Yeah, and like I didn't enjoy the same chance. Not it's not great. Um, what else is? Trash Rex actually really good point because a lot of that deck is back and it's just unusable. Hmm. Um, well, the was... thing is, it was very unusable without Mystic Mind. Yeah. Mystic Mind was the one thing that just made the deck well, good. Mystic Mind because... was the only thing letting you keep pace with everything else. Yeah. Um, another one is the Necros. Yeah. That entire deck is at three. Yes. Like, you don't have Jinlock. That's a big you don't point. Have that. You don't but have even that. when Jinlock wasn't, was gone, Necros was still a very good deck. Could... It is now useless. Again, it's just too slow. 
Could like you... they even gave it in a gate and it still doesn't do anything. Oh, I have another one. Sorry, okay. Could you say flu? I yeah. mean, again, it saw yeah. some recursion when Unchained was it, topping because it won a YCS. Yeah, like the... recently. Um, I, I don't know if I can. Say. It's like it doesn't have statue. Yeah, but it still won a YCS without statue. Yeah, pretty um, much all it doesn't have as well. Cosmo. Cosmo? Yep. Hold exit three. There's not, not a single aspect of that deck is still on the ban list. And that deck used to be like, holy shit, this at three is bastard. It also used to be super expensive. It's so expensive. The day, so when I came back to Yu Gi Oh! and someone was like, look at these cards, I was like, I must own this deck. And then they were like, here's the price tag. And I was like, I don't want the deck anymore. I no longer want this. You mean this card's hundred and twenty dollars each? No, 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 no. No, you're gonna no, SP no. at one eighty. <laughs> Actually, that's fine. Just because you brought it up, I'm gonna skip ahead to one of these other questions. Um, did I say who asked us this question? By the way, I can't remember yes, if I did. Yeah, I did. Perfect. Um, so our next question, kind of, comes to us from Rye Guy. Yep. Um, if you go to crossovers like Magic: The Gathering has with Lord of the Rings and Godzilla cards, what would you want to see? Which so, was Cosmo for us. Yeah, so... Also the, the Kaijus. Yeah, the Kaijus. Um, the thing with Konami crossovers is they do not give any acknowledgement to the people they're taking their assets from. We don't want to get sued here. <laughs> yeah, mm. so let's not share profits, let's not get sued. Let's just make loose references as much as possible. Like, literally just Star Wars and Wizard of Oz put together. He's a dick. Yeah. It's not um, even discreet about it. Invoked is heavily based on, um, like... Eidolons and Aeons from Final Fantasy, but again, not mentioned. Um, apparently, apparently, Centurion's based off an anime. Shocker. Yep, yeah, same with um, Star Dragon, Striker. Dragon Maids. Dragon mm. Maids. Literally, yeah. Kobayashi's as a deck. Is Battle Boxes off something? Uh, sure. Not, not directly, like, it's just kind of boxing ish. Yeah. Um, uh, what's another one? Like, I, I, we mentioned it with Kaiju's. Mm -hmm. It's just Godzilla lore, the deck. Um, yeah. I mean, briefly with the fairy tale kind of cards. Oh, there's the actual like that fairy tale deck. Yes, yeah, I thought you meant like fairy tale snow luna. I was like, <laughs> yeah. but the actual Cinderella. Archetype. Yeah, yeah, like the Golden Castle. Yeah, ish. The Golden shit. Castle of Stromberg. Literally a card called Cinderella. Oh no, they changed it for us, didn't it? It's Princessin. Yeah, it's Princessin. Yeah. In OCG, it was Cinderella. By the way, J so Japan's like the first country to be like, no, intellectual property policy is important to us. Japanese companies just rip off the West and they're like, I just don't see the, the similarities here. <laughs> like, China is worse. Oh, China's so much worse. But Japan is like, we literally just made an anime that's your TV show as an anime. I just don't see how this is similar at all. No. <laughs> I don't see how you could compare these two. Um, Completely different. Yeah. So, Saw Trooper and Storm Trooper don't even know how you think those are a similarity. <laughs> yeah. The Scaredy Lion would, no, would not be a Scared Lion. No. no. The Straw Man? It's not a Straw Man. No. <laughs> don't see it. Don't understand. Um, so, next question comes to us from Arch. Uh, pick two master rules, delete them from Yu-Gi-Oh! Explain how it would make the game better. No. <laughs> Not doing it. What master rule wouldn't you delete, though? Well, you'd, Why you'd, are you so being... you just delete links and pendulums because they're realistically your only options. <laughs> and no then, visual, no pendulum, then, then no you're back to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're back to that. Yeah, look, as much this as... This is people... a great format. Pre-links. Like, as much as we... Going back and retrospectively playing 2017 format, you realise how fucking busted links are. Well, yep. the thing is, you could remove links, and then we don't have the issue of having a full extra deck. Yeah. Yeah, it gives you more option, like people whinging that there's not enough space in the extra yeah, deck, only we, because they need like 17 link monsters as options if X and Y happens. But, mm. The amount of things that happen playing 2017 format where you're just like, if I just had a, a generic link to right now, I could remove cards off my board with, yeah. I'd be off to the races. Yeah, Instead imagine. you're like Fuck I'm stuck with that card Is that Bahama Chuck's gonna stick around <laughs> <laughs> Why is this here oh. Yeah I don't know I think 
Sorry. I'm not bored, I'm just tired. Um, I think as much as they were a pain in the ass at the time, looking back on it, I think it's kind of at a balance plate. Like, Pendulum plays will cry until the fucking cows come home. Yeah. But realistically, for the most part, everything else is fine. Yeah. Yeah. It's... it's I okay. just wish more effects had classifications rather than this, like... Nobody knows. But that's not really a master rule thing. That's just <laughs> judges being fucking lazy. Um, next question comes to us from Smithy46. Do you think we'll ever reach a point in the game where cards will arrive in the TCG pre-limited or pre-semi-limited? No. Master Duel styles is. No. 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 No, they like cards for us to be busted so that they can then print them in high rarities for yeah. us to pay more. It's called selling. <laughs> yeah. Mm. It is indeed called marketing. So um, in Master Duel you can just craft so they don't really care. I'm, I'm actually surprised that Konami doesn't publicize the OCG more because it's, it's very much this kind of thing where like you, if you want to go and look into OCG trends you need to like go and look for them yourself Konami's not going to be like here's this tournament we just had in the OCG this is what topped look at what's coming in the future guys I feel because, like it's a like, case that in itself would be marketing so to push new shit there's a couple things with that one um, they don't communicate it with us no. at all they don't tell us anything no. so that just falls into that bracket. Yeah. Uh, two, they know that we're going to do it anyway. Yeah. Like, they don't need to put in the effort to tell us what's happening because we're going to go look. Was it like August 2016, the last ban list, where they actually gave explanations for cards? Yes. Yeah. They used to, by the way, they used to give a full PDF that was like, this card's banned, these are the reasons why, this card's banned, here are the reasons why, we've limited good to this, get one, huh? this is why. Now you don't get... Yeah. We, get this. we don't even get a date we get yeah. some time from now mm-hmm. I I get the whole not wanting to have set dates because then you can kind of free things up and you can wait for formats to develop and things like that just fucking go back to the every three months our next band is going to be good. like given to us halfway through the YCS okay? yeah we're going to get it like the week of the YCS and yeah. it'll be effective two weeks after I mean that's what happened in uh, the obliteration uh, band list we literally got dumb. that on the day two the of YCS. S- the stupidest thing is day one of YCS, they announced Gisu, August Gisu. <sighs> Everyone was like, this card's insane. August is going to be busted. It's going to be the best. We show up for the second day of the YCS and they're like, they banned Harp. How the fuck could they do this? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was so upset. That entire night I was like working out ways I could do Mech Knight Orchest. Didn't stop me by the way. Like, Still did it. Morning, but... <laughs> morning of the YCS I remember walking over and Jake's like this like, this Gisu card it's insane. You can normal summon and then you do this and then you can do that. And I was like mm. damn that, that's going to be a problem. The next day I was walking out I was like hmm no one's talking about Gisu anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <sighs> fun times. Just give us half back a one. Please. Then I can play the deck. <laughs> I've never played it. Uh, you and I can theory craft Hawkus together. Just wait until you get locked to machines and you're like, oh. <laughs> I mean, the locking to machines really happens. That's locked to dark. It's crescendo that locks you out, yeah. Yeah. Locked from dark from there, should it? Locks from darks, full stop. Mm. Yeah. That's fine. You just do the orca stuff last after you set up negates and shit. Yeah, it's fine. Um, next question. Next two questions actually comes to us from 6 r 6 Hello. Uh, to what level do you think a ban list should impact a tier 1 deck? Kill off the mm. core archetype combo. No focus on archetype and kill off generic degeneracy. Uh, he's noticed that it's a lot more archetype centric in the meta. Um, that there's like not a lot of shared like boards don't end the same between decks like it's not super generic yeah um so yeah do you think it should be more a case of killing off the archetype that's in the tier or the generic cards that are existing within those higher up decks i'm always a fan of hit the archetype yeah like i don't want to see other decks get punished for a deck doing good so i'm always very much on the side of like hit that shit get rid of that but then you've got like cards like pot of spirit yeah, which I don't want to see get hit. I think all car- all decks should have access to consistency. Yes, it pushes power creep higher for like the really good decks, but 
but it also puts less pressure on Konami to have to print every fucking deck to be like, here's a spell that searches a monster, here's a monster that searches spells, you have access to your entire combos off these two cards, off you go. My problem with Pot of Prosperity hmm? is that you cycle through one-eighth of your deck. The, the issue is finding side deck cards. That's, That's yes. the problem. Yeah. So, in my opinion, I would rather Pot of Greed than Pot of Prosperity. Yeah, just because you don't get the look. Yeah. It makes sense. But then you can't draw for the rest of the turn. Yeah, put a greed errata when. Draw two. For the rest of this turn, you cannot draw. Yeah. It's extravagance. Yeah, but there's no cost. <laughs> <laughs> I want my extra deck. <laughs> okay. Does extravagance stop you from drawing? Yes. Yeah, uh, it also yeah. has that. Yeah. You, you also have to activate it at the start of main phase one. The amount of times like my opponent started playing and then they activated the against and like, nope, no, put no. it back. No. Next question. Next question is, again from 6 out 6, do you prefer floodgate spells slash traps or floodgate effect monsters? And which is better for the game? None of them. <laughs> Fuck them off. <laughs> um, Depends on the floodgate. It does depend on the floodgate. So, and it depends on Can't whether it's static or if it's just activate one and done. Also, it depends on its attack and defense. Yes. So, static floodgates are. I don't want to say acceptable because then I feel like I'm giving them a pass, but I feel like they're the better of the two. Whereas if you've got like a D barrier level floodgate that just activates. And unless you happen to have a negate on the board, which if you're going second, you probably don't. That's Lingers. it. You're locked out of that aspect of the game. That's fucked. Um, monsters, same sort of thing. If you don't happen to have the out at that exact moment, that's also fucked. Um, yeah. That's kind Just of where I stand on that. Linger Just, effects. So, I am big against... Attack like high attack monsters having no special summon clauses, like Vanity's Fiend. Yes, those are those are big no nos. No 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 no. Like you can put a no special summon clause on Fossil Diner because you can attack over the Fossil Diner. Like when they get big stuff like a two thousand four hundred attack monster that you can't special summon into, that's when things start to be like, fuck. Yeah, that's a bit excessive there. It's so like that, the the big fairy vanities, um, Archul Christia. Yeah. Yeah, those are all a bit it's fucked. Huge cards that are just like, no. Never mind you can't the even kaiju he, this. Never mind the fact that he plays fucking Ashato so he's <laughs> <laughs> fucking rescue waste dead. Yeah, exactly. Well, the thing is, this meta at the moment, you have to play it. You gotta play turn skips. To get that free win. See, see, that's the terminology that's fucked. Free win. You have to play it to get a free win? Yes. No. Earn your win like a fucking... I don't want to say man because that's sexist, but like a normal fucking person. Fuck your floodgates off. Like a human being. No, we're not those either. <laughs> <laughs> Alien? I don't know what we are. We're not human though. Uh, last question. Oh wait, no. That's the one we already did. That, is, that was the last question. And Thank on you. that shocking bombshell... <laughs> Uh, thank you all very much for listening and watching. Uh, just a quick reminder as well, we are only four days away from the close-off of the Mega Banlist tournament. Oh. Uh, link is in the Discord uh, for both C4G and for Nolan TCG. I'll make a... I, I will remember to make a What are you going to do then? This week. Are you sure? No. <laughs> <laughs> I even sent you a reminder and you ignored it. You want to remind me when I'm at home? Hey, Ben. Do it. I'll do it tonight when I'm editing. You'll do it the second we're done this podcast. No, because I have to edit the band list template thing on the on the on the internet webs and then I go boom. Done. But anyway, uh the links are in the Discord. Um it's four beyond blue, really fantastic charity. Uh five dollars to move a card, one space, ten dollars to move it any more than that. You can't move cards that have already been moved. Close off is this Thursday at midnight. So get your bans and unbans in before then. And then the tournaments are on the 17th and 19th of December. If you happen to be in the area, it'd be awesome to see you there. Uh, it's here in Wollongong. 
that's the area. There is awkwardly a regional on the same day, but that regional's booked out, so don't go to the regional if you haven't got a spot. Come and play you here with us. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, yeah, um, feel free to jump into our Discord, like and subscribe, do the things, and we'll catch you all next week. Peace. Yeah.